Hey beautiful people, it's your girl T and I am back to do a flip through of Ancient Aliens, the coloring book from the producers of Ancient Aliens from the History Channel. Um, this is a book that I um, showed a completed picture in and I had a request for a complete flip through of this book. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you all um, and thank you for the request. Okay, just a little bit about this book, okay? Um, this book was illustrated by Kathleen Edwards, who is an award-winning book illustrator, a fine artist, and a graphic novel author. She's got a lot of titles here. Um, she studied at Pratt University, which is located in Brooklyn, New York, and she received a master's in interdisciplinary arts from San Francisco State University. Um, the book is published by Harper Elixir, which is like a branch of um, Harper Collins Publisher. And there are approximately 39 pages in this book, okay? Uh, but there are 40 images to actually color. Um, the book is approximately 11, in, 11 inches by 8.5 inches. Um, you can hear it, it's on pretty thick paper. Um, you can say that it is single-sided, so you can use markers. Um, if you want to try watercolors in here, you can. But basically, this book is just uh, pictures or illustrations of um, some of the world's wonders, uh, you know, wonders of the world. And so um, I thought this book was pretty interesting. I like the heavy line art in this book. And I just like the, the topic, the subject, you know, it goes from anywhere from Turkey to places in South America. And I think this is really cool. A cool book. So on this side, it gives you the image. On this side, it tells you what exactly you're looking at. I actually heard an uh, interesting story about these um, statues in Polynesia. But this is a, um, a great book. I, I like the paper quality. The quality of the book is awesome. The paper is really thick. Um, it's not too smooth, so you can use almost any color kind of color pencil or brand of color pencil on this book um, and I think that you'd be happy with the results with the spacing in some of the pictures it could give you um you know opportunities to practice shading you know shading with more than one color shading with one color um this is a page that i did uh i did this one pretty quick i just uh used i believe that was um an acrylic paint pen paint marker in the background for this black and I believe, I want to say I used Crayola color pencils on this. I'm not really sure because it's been a while since I did that. But that was really fun to color. Now you can go online and get inspiration, you know, from pictures. Or you can just color them the way you want to. The one that I did, I just colored the way I wanted to. I didn't go online to get inspiration. Um, but... You know, that's something you can do if you want to color it to look more um, realistic or to resemble the actual um, original. I believe this book is available on Amazon. I think that I bought this from the book outlet online, um, but I will try to find a link to this on Amazon. 
for those who are interested in getting it. And I will um, post a link in the comments. Now, I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you do use the link to purchase the book, um, I will get a small portion of the proceeds to help, um, you know, support my channel. This is a cool picture here. All right, and that is the 40th image to color, the end page. So again, um, glad that you stopped by to watch this flip through. All right, y'all, until next time, take care.